big contingent of onlookers there just to the side of the starting gates watching the action red light is on they are set and racing on a fick off the inside the first to get going out pretty quickly on the outside though lady sass harry thomas also an arnie's boy going up and they're all contesting the front vintage stock brothers keep a little wider out next of all when they get going scintillating back on the inside of stafford's lad i'm a blue bagger trapped out there three deep around that pair a length and a half hyperspace royal strata king of judah getting well back and last of all and racing with his head being thrust around there on the turps as arnie's boy leads them out to the riverside they head nearing the thousand arnie's boy on top here three quarters of a length in front harry thomas over on the inside the favorite lady sash she's in the box seat brothers keeper parked outside of her in the pink colors a length and a half away to vintage stock trailing up one off the rail on the outside of honorific a length i'm a blue bagger at the 800 scintillating tucked away on its inside then two length stafford's lad on its inside royal strata the field strings out then further back in the field when they come down the side of the track is hyperspace second from last king of judah on the turf saw them all nearing the corner and arnie's boy had got them running arnie's boy the field from first to last about 12 lengths or more at the 400 they come around the corner arnie's boy's the leader about to be taken on on the outside by harry thomas lady sass hard ridden by johnston porter behind them trying to pick up with brothers keeper harry thomas reaches the lead from arnie's boy arnie's boy fights back with a hundred left to go harry thomas arnie's boy coming back tooth and nail harry thomas desperately ridden though it's harry thomas harry thomas wins it from arnie's boy then lady sass third home from scintillating running on just ahead of brothers keeper vintage stock and then from last on the terps they were followed by stafford's lad on was next home king of judah royal strata back with it and they were followed further back in the field by hyperspace and old i'm a blue bagger trails them home well, they identified Harry Thomas, 460 into 370. And he has got the money, Harry Thomas. He didn't have to lead to win. He's been ultra consistent, but it's been 651 days since he last saluted the judge. So Harry Thomas has certainly ended a long run of outs. The scandal keeper gilding, who is placed on... 15 occasions with just those three wins prior to this victory and it certainly is a great change of fortune for ross price here in the metropolitan area today teaming up with jared noski he punched him out to hold arnie's boy who refused to lay down kept coming back in a dog fight behind them lady sass ground away into third place two six and four and uh, it's brother's keeper that just holds fourth in front of 11 scintillating who was working home well with it 137 18 is the time it's a neck and one and a quarter the margins harry thomas is owned by t and aj waldeck ridden by jared noski for southwest trainer ross price he's run home in 3502 arnie's boy second the patronized four-year-old from let's get even ash maley and jade mcnaught lady sass by unencumbered from for the girls dan morton and clint johnston porter the next this afternoon the running of the amelia park handicap over 1800 at 318 and there are no changes Brittany taylor's about to join us down there in the yard here after this victory good to see ross price back with the winner here in the metropolitan area let's go to brit Thanks, Darren. I've got Ross Price, and Ross, 651 days it's been since he's had his photo taken, but by golly, he's been just so consistent along the way, hasn't he? Yeah, you might think it's a long time, but in that time, whenever he's raced, he's always put in. Um, he's, probably, he's a real honest little horse, probably not super endowed with ability, but by gee, he's got a big heart, and he tries very hard all the time. You were just speaking off air about how pleased you were with how relaxed he was in the run today. Yeah, sometimes he can over race a little bit, just even in running, even if he's leading or sitting outside the leader. But today he was just travelling really, really nicely all the way and, and uh, probably left that little bit extra at the finish. Were you expecting him to actually find the rail and uh, lead the event up rather than sitting outside the leader today? Yeah, and I couldn't really see anything that was a, a real, you know, natural leader. So um, I just left it to uh, Jared. But uh, we thought we'd either lead or be sitting where, where he was outside the leader. Is there anything different about today that was able to get him the victory or is it just a case of he was able to go one better? Well, I think 
he, probably, he may like Ascot a little bit better than Belmont and uh, uh, did a kick off the corner and he was just able to sort of starve them off in that, that last bit, whereas the long straight at Belmont, he, they sort of just found him that last little bit. So maybe, maybe Ascot uh, might be the trick for him. Well, hopefully Ascot coupled with a bit of a confidence boost here. Hopefully there's a few wins in store this campaign. Well done. All right. Thank you very much. Ross Price, trainer of Harry Thomas. And uh, there were some very happy punters cheering him home. And uh, it was a tough contest in the end between him and Arnie's boy in the finish, but uh, showed great tenacity there to fight them off. And uh, Jared Noski making it get his head in front when it counted. It's another race too, Britt, where it was 1-2 around the corner, ran 1-2. So it's a typical Ascot easterly breeze sort and of day. And the sitting in the breeze has been the victor. Absolutely was. Uh, I'll grab Jared Noski for a quick word now. He's just weighed in successfully. Uh, Jared, congratulations. He's uh, been a long time between drinks. Were you happy enough to sit in the breeze or were you expecting to lead? Yeah, um, it looks like we we'll, um, we'll probably, Jade couldn't really hold her as much slower, so we're probably going to go a bit hard if I led, so I was happy to let her go. He sometimes puts up that little white flag in the last 50. Were you nervous? Uh, not really. He digs in for the fight. You know, I didn't think there was much in today's race to fight off, but he's, he's a bit, I felt it was a bit of a dropping grade this race anyway, so um, yeah, he's tough to keep fighting him off, so I was pretty confident at the top of the straight. Certainly is. Let's talk about one later on. A quick word on Sam, is that drawn a little bit awkwardly? Yeah, he'll go back. Um, I expect him to hit the line. Um, hopefully he does. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Jared Noski speaking there after the performance of Harry Thomas and he combines with trainer Ross Price for the horse's first victory in 651 days. It's been a day for the horses that we've been calling non-winners, but they're so, so consistent. They pay their way. Today was Harry Thomas's day.